Yo guys, what is going on? Glitch here bringing you a brand new video today with another Pokemon bot update as far as a GUI and a little bit of a sniping setup for you guys too. I know you guys have been asking for the sniping setup, so let's get into this guys. First things first, let's go into chat and tell everyone to say hi to YouTube. Um, and as you, if you guys don't know, the Discord is a place to get proxies, get configs, etc. Share all your things like that guys, but um... Let's get into the video now. I know you guys don't like when I do this too much, so we'll keep moving on. So guys, what you want to do is head to the download link in the description and download this file. Once you have this downloaded, you're simply just going to go drag and drop that into a folder, and we will get right into this. So what we're going to do first, guys, is in both these RAR files, we're going to extract these files here. Um, we need them out of the RAR for this, so that's what we're going to do. So now, once you have those extracted, you can just delete those, and now we'll get into it, guys. So first thing we're going to do is run the PokemonBot.exe. Um, this will create a config file, command line will close, just hit enter, and then here you go. So now guys, once it opens the config file, open up the PMB human config. Okay, so now you can see the config folder right there. Just grab that here and drop that. So what we're going to do guys is open up both the folders at once. And as you guys can see, you're going to take this config, drop it in here, and replace the file. So once you do that guys, all you're going to do is open up the config file, and you don't even need to touch anything, you just need to edit one thing, guys. So what you're going to do is pull that over here. Um, so once we do this, we're going to go and look for the device ID, which will be like this. Like this. I don't know why I did that, but okay. So the device ID looks like this, and we want to change like three numbers in the device ID. So like change the, this is all random, guys, so change that number four to like a nine. This number six to like a seven. And then this 3 to a 8. And then once you have that done, you're just going to file, save that, and then now we're going to get into the rest of it. So now what you guys are going to do is we're going to go to the config files in the Pogo location, config files. And what we're going to do is we're going to do config. And what we'll do then is check this out here. See how this config's here? What we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go here. Config files, config. You can just grab the folder, actually, if you'd like. So we're going to copy this folder and paste it right here. Replace files. And once that's replaced, what we're going to do is we're going to run the location feeder.exe and then run the PMB visualizer setup. But first things first, guys, we obviously need to go to our config folder and edit the auth document now if you guys want to use proxies you can use proxies again google password and name it needs to be in quotation so quotation email at gmail.com and quotation and then your google password also needs to be in quotation so quotation password quotation and you guys for proxies if you want to set this to true and you want to use proxies i sell these on the discord they're like five dollars for ten once you do that you just want to put quotations here instead of these nulls it's better to put quotations just a personal have it in mind. And what we'll do here is we'll go HTTP and then proxy and port. So I'll fill this information out, guys, and I'll be right back once we get done. Now, guys, we have that done. Now what we're going to do is run both our files here. We're going to run the location feeder right here. And we will just click run. Okay. Connection established. Waiting for data. Now we'll go down here. We will run the PMB visualizer setup, which will boot up here. It's got a fancy little loading animation connecting to the bot. Discord message received. So now we're just going to wait for it to connect to the bot, guys, and then we should be good to go. So let's wait for it to happen, and then we'll get a move on, hopefully. So I'll be right back, guys, once this is loaded up. I made a mistake, but that's all right. We're back at it, guys. So first thing you want to do is go into Location Feeder and run this application right there. And then you're going to run the PokemobBot application right down there. And then you want to run the Visualizer Setup. So the Visualizer just connects to the bot. And then, once we give it a second, ooh, baby, look at all that money. And there we are, right there. That's what we're doing. And let's see what's going on. 
So, as you guys can see, this config is all about, you can see your inventory, you can, you know, check out all this, sort by IV, sort by number, you know, check out your eggs, which is pretty cool. And then you can also just hold up your inventory, see what all is going on in here, guys. So it's a pretty awesome bot. Um, that you guys should definitely be checking out. As you guys can see, we caught a magnite, magnemite here, and it is here. You can see all the Pokestops that we spin, they turn purple. And yeah, guys, basically this config is not made to be the fastest config in the world. Um, it's probably only going to pull around 15k XP an hour, but that's still better than you going out and doing it. Now, this is also doing some sniping things over here um, with that config file. You're, if you're to edit that, I would not suggest it personally, but you can do that if you please. So as you guys can see, bot's working pretty good. Getting that XP slowly but surely, guys. So if you guys did enjoy the video and you're new here, subscribe. And if you like the video, smash that like button for me. And uh, if you want to help your buddies out, go ahead and hit the share button, tweet it, whatever you want to do. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope that this bot is kind of what you guys have been looking for as far as sniping and also just a good looking GUI with a good config already built in. So you guys will go to the download links for all that. Discord's in the description. And if you want to help us out, guys, uh, there's a link for a G2A link if you guys want to help us out and you buy games from D2A. Just click that link. It helps us out so much, guys. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.